be cool. But if it's what you Calling like, yourself Doctor, my last name. Would good be job, cool. though. Yeah, thank you. It's definitely a well-respected career. In theory. Assuming I don't die of radioactivity. It's fine. <laughs> also, I know radioactivity doesn't actually... Most radioactivity is actually harmless mm. to people. People don't know radioactivity. Yep. Right so now we it's just a nucleotide breakdown. All right. Anyway, we're going to have <laughs> our grand finals. Vex is on winner's side. Blue is on loser's side here. Uh, right. And we're going to see a battle of the big bodies with uh, Vex's DK versus Blue's Zard. So I doubt we'll be seeing much character switching here from both players. Really? Because I, I think, I think I don't know, I mean, Blue has won his fair share of Weird Bear Bears, but he's never done it with all Charizard before. Because one time he got close, but he had to go meet to for a last game with Uno one time. But that was the closest right, he got. Right. I know Vex for sure. He doesn't usually character swap unless he feels the matchup is that bad. Yeah. And considering he went DK to begin with, knowing he would go Charizard. Probably, yeah. Like... Because Ding Dong will be, uh, I'm pretty sure Ding Dong will kill later than normal, but it will yep. be active for a longer window. Right so. He's just having a look. Vex has to be looking for a grab right now, because that will end the stock. You betcha. Goes to dash attack, though. Oh, the fair. Now now Ding Dong will not connect, but who cares, backer? <laughs> ba backer <laughs> All right. Vex already taking a well commanding lead Only so far. Only 29% on him. Great way to start the set. Ooh, nice. The back air interception. Oh, and Nair. With like these, an auto cancel there. With so. the characters of these big bulky bodies right here, that bat, that uh, Charizard's back here is definitely. Gonna, we're definitely gonna be seeing the, the, the important sweet spot on that. Yeah, yeah. Vex has to be long. careful there because DK has a very high ledge grab. He has, his head's like peeking over it. So mm -hmm. if Luke can time it perfectly, I think he can back air. Vex has to be careful about sticking on the ledge too. Long. Oh, yeah, that was back <laughs> I think. Yeah, yeah. His foot <laughs> just like for one frame, his foot was just like there. <laughs> Man. Man, fire's just too good. <laughs> oh, nope. Ding Dong will not Almost. connect. Too much rage. If Bex wants to be that guy, I was going to say, if Bex wants to be that guy, he could just SD now so that it connects this time. But <laughs> he's not going to do that, obviously. Oh, no. Oh, he's going to make it. Blue dies. Uh, <laughs> Bex is still going to make it back after that. Not sure what Blue was going for right there. He got this. I think he thought it would kill. Like, that move kills super early, but Vex was at way too low percent. Sometimes like, you get big spikes like that, and everything in your body just tells you, this will kill because I earned this. Yeah. <laughs> but you don't <laughs> exactly. I won on the inside. <laughs> but not not always the case when they're at zero. Yeah. Uh, all right, getting a little too ahead of himself, but, you know, he's shaking it off. He knows what he did wrong. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, predicting winners of games is hard. <laughs> It is tough, especially in Smash 4. Oh, you betcha. Alright, so we're going on a battlefield now. Yo, it just goes with the raw B up there. Alright, Vex already coming up with the up B. Another one. Second but, up but B. But yeah, I, it can be tempting, but you just gotta hold your shield yep. through the entirety of that. Blue's, it has a lot of end lag. Blue's just too smart for that to work. Exactly. I mean, a lot of people will just... It's one of those moves where like a lot of people just tend to let go of their shield too early, and that's what they get hit by, but... One of those moves in the game where people either know exactly what to do or they don't. Exactly. <laughs> and now... Like the freaking Dock Tornado. I don't know how to deal right. with that. <laughs> That's his own issue. Don Kong in a very bad position. Trying to land against Charizard, but manages to get back on equal grounds. True. Yeah, these are actually two characters that have a lot of trouble landing. So whoever gets up in the air first just kind of eats a lot of damage. And now... All right. Back to oh, I think he meant to B-reverse that. But yep. he's not going to do that. And we're going to get a lot of damage. He was not at Ding Dong percent yep. yet. Ooh, Move the rock smash landing. For certain games, sometimes I miss input there. I and mean, gets the up smash kill. All right, great up smash there. Right through the platform. Blue closing out the first stock of the game. It's very important considering how last time it went up, down. All right. All right, I like that. Bait out the air dodge with Nair and then auto cancel so you can just jab immediately. That was a good frame trap right up there. there. Ooh, go for the up E, but oh, right. the wrong option there. Up, up smash does not hit to the side very well. I'm surprised by the lack of ding tongs we've been seeing so far. In this exactly. Sense. DM Vex has not quite showed up yet. All right, Vex is moving around the platforms, using Battlefield to his best advantage right now. Ooh, back here there. Oh, doesn't almost doesn't. And now I love how Vex gets charges in while he's recovering. Like, I try that and I just die. Like, oh no, but he's re, he re grabbed. He grabbed. Uh, oh, did, no, no punish by Blue. Surprised we didn't see Ooh, Blue going in there for us, some kind of hard kill. Yeah, he could have gone for down air if he wanted to. Alright, gonna see Vex recovering right there. Gets back. Very scary recovery there yeah. from Vex's part. I don't know. But he has the and Flare Blitz! Flare Blitz, flare blitz in midair! We'll take out, we'll take out <laughs> uh, DK there. 
jumps right into it. Wow. The, the blue hot gets. flames right now. The blue flames. The, the, I, I ran out of nicknames after blue flames. Yeah, the blue hot flames. <laughs> blue is hotter than red. And it's his name. I don't so know how I don't have any blue puns. I feel like that should be easy. Like, I came up with DM I mean, Vex, and Vex won't give it to you. <laughs> like, I mean, I so how, how does that make you feel? It, it makes me feel, I don't force puns. Because it makes you feel a little blue that you know, you feel that way. And I'm feeling blue. All right. We'll see, though. We got this even up 1 1. Of course, Blue does have to take this set and then another. Blue, okay. What in the world? I mean, he are we brought seeing? this out. He brought this out, um, not the last Weaver Bears, but the one before that against False. Yep. But that's more because, like, Marth DK kind of sucks. But we have. Oh, starting ladies out the and gentlemen. Game. I like, I like the, the, game the taunt. I like Both that little start, gentleman's taunt to start things off. They're respecting Put off a each show other for the too. audience. They're respecting each other, too. I dig it. I was going to make some kind of joke about Blue, but this switch to the character is much more important right now. Absolutely. Oh my god. Because uh, Vex, is, Vex is trading some kill power for a lot of mo mobility and agility yes. here. Much more mobility. He's got to play and a, a lot and, more. A, and a better combo game against a big body character. Yep. So. Surprised that, that, uh, surprised that Raptor, Raptor Boost didn't connect right there. Yeah. Now Vex got a finicky hitbox. So. Vex has to play a lot more. He's no me brawler. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> All right. Deck. Oh, the sp the spot dodge read. Oh my god. Guess the name. <laughs> Blue's not having any of that. There's today, a flare though. blitz to flare blitz to Eps. Oh my god. What taunt. is this game? What is this game, ladies and gentlemen? I don't think I've ever seen Vex taunt this much in one match. <laughs> He's not even doing show me your moves. <laughs> I mean, that. Really I think he'll, he'll save that for the kill. If he gets a kill, he's gonna. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, both players are very. They, both players know what's going on. <laughs> both players showing a lot of respect for each other right now. Yeah. And at the same time, no respect. Exactly. <laughs> I'm just going for. Oh my God! Knee, knee, knee. All right. Vex has to be. Vex has to be very careful Man, about. I that mean, up. like this is tough though, because now you have more options in the neutral. You can like up taunt, down yep. taunt. Ooh, the back air will do it though. Vex has to be very careful about falling for uh, the rock smash. There's so many mind games for this open taunt play. Oh my god. And up B! <laughs> he could have gone for knee there! Well, the way this set, well, the way this match has been going so far, it's very hard to take these players seriously. It really is. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, that, knee in the other direction. All right. Oh! Raptor The run the, pass! We see the blaze of kiss Show special. me your move! Shout out to Blaze of Kiss right there. That right. is the Blaze of Kiss special. Coin turn right there. All right. Running past your opponent, faking it out with a Raptor boost. Okay. I feel like that's a thought. Eh, whatever. It's the Blaze of Kiss special. <laughs> All right. Up there, up there. All right. Seeing Going for fatality. Bears. Going for the, you know, the, the high level Falcon. We're looking much like our side event right here. As, you know, as a 64. True enough. It's up there. Oh, and Blue is going to take it down. Come on down to the Shadow Realm. Come on down. <laughs> the Bros Calamity. <laughs> Every Friday for Weaver Bears. Weaver Bears. Yes. <laughs> Vex. Wow. Sh putting on so, a show uh, right there for yeah, Game 2. That was, uh, I mean, technically Super that was taunt to get bodied because Boo did taunt at some points and lost eventually. Get, bo get bodied to taunt. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that was get bodied to taunt. <laughs> oh, All right. Well. Anyway, it Isn't obviously it? worked, so he's probably going to stick yep. uh, Falcon. Vex looking very confident after that match in his Falcon. Blue, we could, I would not be surprised to see like, some kind of character switch at this point. Jigglypuff. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what if Blue went Jigglypuff? Like, come on. No, what, I just thought something. What if uh, your opponent asks you, do you have a switch this game? And then you play Pit, and you're like, yeah, I have a switch. You, <laughs> you switch go it. Dark Pit. You go Dark Pit, yes. <laughs> <laughs> that actually happened at a brother we love. Like, uh, we did like a bunch. We did like an eight-player free-for-all on randoms, and I think it was Hart. He got Pit, and then the second game he got Pit, and then the third game he got Dark Pit. <laughs> oh my God, mind games. <laughs> yeah. All right. Oh, the flare blitz, but not safe on shield. Oh, oh I think right there he won. He actually wanted the jab the, lock, uh, the ground jab lock. lock. Yep. It's more of a ground lock because you're spiking them into the ground. But. There's no difference between the functional edge. Like, I don't like jab lock when you're clearly using a spike. Oh, you <laughs> won the lock reset. There you go. Reset. Yeah, that's good. To up tilt. That was almost enough to kill him. Wow. Up tilt. Very close. But to Falcon, right there. Falcon, extremely fast faller though, so he does not die off the top easily. And no, not quite gimped yet. Yeah, blue call him with a raptor boost. Yeah, holding out the jab there. Rock smash. Not gonna kill it just yet. Almost killing. Falcon is pretty heavy and he's a fast faller. So oh, the down smash. Falcon gonna take him out. Jump right there. Yeah, that was beautifully done, Blue Blue. At that point, all he wanted to do was recover, but no dice. <laughs> I, 
forget this talking kick edge cancel? Uh, no. Oh. I don't believe so. Okay. Actually, I think it might. The, it could, oh, wait, that's not the people. Is, wait, okay. Is the people's elbow his back air or his forward smash? People's elbow? Yeah. I have no idea. It's, they're, they're both elbows. It's tough to call. True. I, don't know. I think the people's elbow is the forward smash, but it would make more sense for it to be back air, I think. Oh, great. Raptor boost there. And we see a taunt. All right. Once again, it begins another again. one of these taunts. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> He's just running away from Charizard. Why not? Like, Charizard, I know All you're right. fast on the ground, but uh, I'm Falcon. I'm second fast in the game. Dux has to be careful about recovering right there. He's using his jump straight off the bat and just getting hit by the fire. Yeah. And speaking and of here fire. We go. Oh, actually, great mix-up on the recovery there. Yeah, he's got to be careful about landing with down air, though, because blue can just respond with up tilt. And, of course, Falcon is a fast faller, so uh, combos like that will go on much longer. <gasps> oh, we just saw a spike right oh. there from Blue coming back with his own retaliation. Oh, 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 oh. The stomp through the platform. The people's foot. <laughs> the, pe the people's foot sending you down to the people's village. People's village. <laughs> the people's right. shadow realm. Oh, hey. He, uh, Blue says, oh, by her down there, say hi to Re Redeemer for me. Oh. <laughs> wait, hold on, wait. I don't, I don't play Animal Crossing. Do they have, like, graveyards there? <laughs> Uh, can no, you make a don't. graveyard in Animal Crossing? <laughs> but maybe in spirit you can. Okay. Ah, uh, in spirit. The, the, uh, uh, all right. <laughs> oh, man. Blue looks like he's having a very blue Christmas so far. <laughs> all right. What does that even mean? <laughs> blue. Ba, 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 blue. Christmas without you. I have a blue. Blue, 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 blue Christmas. Guys, I think uh, I think Summer Hayes might have a singing career ahead of him. Just saying this, right now. This is Elvis Presley in the mic, everybody. <laughs> That's a uh, really good Elvis, actually. Like it, like very much. That's really good. I have a peanut butter banana sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I've been I, I make the joke that like I want to use one of my vocal impressions on like an earlier match in tournament. Like I'd love to do a whole tournament match as uh, Rick from Rick and Morty. Uh, let's do commentating with Rick. <laughs> as you guys want to hear my cancerous voice, don't you? <laughs> Look, 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 listen, somebody. They're not gonna. It's not gonna work if they go for this this option repeatedly. I don't know, Rick. Like, I'm trying my best right here, Rick. I'm trying to read or whatever you guys call it, but like, I'm just, I'm just trying my best here, Rick. Look, look, look listen, Morty, like, is, is that talk that kind of that gets you up? Look, is that kind of talk that lets you miss input, uh, miss input, and you and you wind up taking up a spike and then you die, Morty? You really you want to die, Morty? I don't know, Rick. Get your like, shit together, Morty. Rick, like the <laughs> players aren't even on the stream, Rick. I don't know. It's kind of hard to call, Rick. Like, what, what are we watching right now? We're just waiting for the people to show up, Rick. Well, I mean, we, we, we got game five, Morty. I mean, uh, wh whether or not we have to we have to commentate more matches is going to depend on uh, if Blue can pull this out or not. All right. <laughs> uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> We have fun here at Bros Calamity. <laughs> All right, so we get the back. Oh, wait, we have to switch back to DK, actually. All right. So I guess the instant Falcon lost was when he was going to switch back. So <laughs> That's fair. Maybe it felt like it was just... Oh, uh, that was really cool. He used the dash attack, and that actually wound up being a plus exchange because he never got hit by Rock Smash, even though he's super armor. Ding! Dong! Dex going to give it to you. Dex coming in with an 18% lead. Coming in strong in this next set. <laughs> Game five here, people, at, win at Grand Finals. If Vex can win this, that will be the end of the tournament. Yes, unless we do the uh, the 4v4 event, but that wouldn't, of course, you know, mean Don't too much, but whatever. Going home with over winner of this tournament goes over with probably well over $150. Wow. Yep. Impressive. $10 entry fee, 20 entrance, so True. Go figure. Mm -hmm. Oh, the fair will do it. Uh, All right. All right, we're on last, last stock of the first set of Grand Hello? Finals. Blue's not taking too much percent after that last hit. He just yeah, but he's, a, he's at ding-dong percent, though. That is true. He's got to watch out for a grab immensely right now. Is DK, very DK pretty much point. the ultimate wild card in this game, as Zero once said. Because he has the best kill confirm in the game with regards to how early it kills. Ooh. Oh, Blue and is that right no, that. no. He, he, might, right. he might not want to risk close it. Right here. If Blue happens to get caught by just the simplest of things, that will be the end of the tournament. True. Back air. We've got a little bit of rage on us now. Could this be the end? No, he's not going to go for not Ding Dong. Quite. It's not going to connect anymore. Well, back here, does do it. it. And then we'll take the tournament, having Vex as our When I'm 64, the very first iteration of this tournament, the winner. When I'm 64, we will have one champion. When I'm and he is 64. Vex. When I'm 64. Vex Kazrani, DM Vex. Will you still uh, be the same? Th that being said, uh, well, Vex, of course, will get first. Blue, LF Blue, will get second place. Blue Redeemer Z gets third. We actually don't know who got fourth because uh, that was not on stream. All but right. 
It's very blue, good. Blue could be feeling a little blue after that. We'll see. <laughs> we are going to the interview after this right now soon. So I will give up the mic to Trevi. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, is you? Have... Okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. Okay. Oh. All right. Okay, that's cool. Maybe I can convince, can, can convince Blue to get an interview. Yeah, it's fine. If if they want to, if they don't want to, it doesn't right. matter to me. Oh, uh, we'll at least get the second. We got Brother Love 16, of course, will be happening uh, Saturday, October 22nd. Now, granted, that's October, so that'll be uh, quite a while from now. It's been a while since our last Brotherly Love, uh, but you know, we got uh, we're gonna have our singles and our doubles events, maybe more yep. side events. We'll of course keep you updated on that. It's of course early on, but be sure to pre-register on Smash GG. You yep. will save ten dollars off of your venue fee. Uh, there are, of course, other ways to get that discount, but that involves you know, the use of social media and everything. So if you want a quick and easy discount, be sure to register on Smash yep. GG ahead of time. And, don't, and if you guys see the late registration fee, don't be too afraid of it. Because honestly, it's just there to kind of scare people away from, you know, not registering on the website. Because like, once, you, once you register, pre-register, that at $20 pretty much goes away. Yeah. Because like, like, that's five right there. And the very all you need to do is tweet out the stream or... Go on any other form of social media. Just you know, mm -hmm. just give a little. Just say I'm here. I'm at the venue. It's pretty mm -hmm. chill. It's yeah. pretty dope. And you then know why? Because it is. Yep. <laughs> it's all part of our social outreach program. <laughs> and so make sure you guys check it out. Be sure to come down to the lab and uh, absolutely come to our monthlies. They are a great time. Uh, we're actually having a good time. And um, uh, you know we get great. Uh, a lot of great competition. We'll often get. Uh, usually get Vex. Usually get Blue. Sometimes yep. C3PO shows up. Might get a. Uh, uh, what's his name? Six WX. Yep. Yeah, he's okay. Especially for these brotherly love events, we're gonna be want, we're gonna be trying to go for uh, some more events. Maybe even a potential crew battle, perhaps. All right. Yep. A call. All right. You know what? A call. Who should I call out? Crew battle. Who do we not? Who do we want to call out right here? We could be going. Delaware's too easy. Yeah. All right. Delaware's, Delaware's free. too easy. All right. Um. New Jersey, too hard. <laughs> <laughs> Central, <laughs> the rematch from Central PA when we, I don't know, I don't want to say body, but we kind of bodied them last oh, time. But yeah. Could be, could be, yeah. Vex, yeah Vex, Vex, Vex took a whole 12 stocks last time. What? That's awesome. Yep. That was so, yeah, I wasn't there. Central PA, too easy also. So it's kind of hard. True. My, it's an unfortunate situation when you're too good to. Fight other regions, other but than Jersey. But you're, yeah, it's other than Jersey. But Jersey's next by, so yeah. it's like the big brother that just blows yeah. you. Well, I mean, as, as someone who's now a part of Jersey, all right, I, I'm okay with this. All right, so we'll try, we'll figure something out in the meantime. We will. But before that happens, I, I see Vex right there. He's been waiting very patiently. I think he's ready for some kind of a uh, interview. Hmm, cool. I'm gonna give it up. Oh, pleasure commentating with you. Oh, absolutely, man. I had a good, a good time. Day. I don't know if that was your first grand finals, but you did a fine job. That was uh. That, I think that was my second grand finals. Okay. Yep. You did a fine job. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yep, good job. Been a pleasure commenting. Cool. If you guys want to find me, you can check me out on my social media. Uh, and my social media. <laughs> uh, I'll, actually, I'll send it <laughs> to you gonna guys. He's going to send it in the chat. All right. All I right. like it. It's BC underscore Summer Haze. Oh, where's the B? All right. I don't get the BC name. Okay. It's okay. I'm in Jersey now. So. This keyboard is so weird. <laughs> All right. It's just a keyboard. Huh? Um, okay. <laughs> All right. All right. There it is. All right. Cool. That's my that's my Twitter. Make sure you guys check me out. I yeah. usually tweet out like once a week. <laughs> yeah, it seems legit. Alright, cool. Alright, come on and join me. All right, so he doesn't often show up for interviews, but uh, we actually have uh, the one and only CT Vex Kazrani uh, joining me for an interview after his victory. Uh, you, it can go either way. <laughs> Alright, so I have one question immediately. What was with that third game? With just all of those taunting, all that taunting back and forth? Hey man, Falcon's fun. So, taunt <laughs> a lot with him. <laughs> Alright, I bet. Every game, I taunt with him a lot. <laughs> Every game. Yeah, because I remember the last time you brought him out was actually against False, and just kind of randomly got a Raptor Boost kill, I think, and just got to show me your moves out of that. Well, was a, that was actually a decently close set. Like, mm -hmm. he won, but it was close. Mm hmm. All right, but that's good. Uh, so, so why did you go Falcon? You, you didn't seem like you were having any issues with DK. So, um, I've been practicing Falcon a little bit, but my controller doesn't want a perfect fit of it anymore. So oh, I'm course. gonna have to retire my Falcon before it even starts. <laughs> Let's see what. Could just get a new controller. I don't know. Well, a new one would work probably. Mm -hmm. 
So looking to add that to your repertoire in addition to uh, um, in addition to Cloud and DK. Oh yeah. Any matchup uh, specific reasons for that? Uh, I just like Falcon, and he's really fast. So like, even though I lost the first Charizard, like flamethrower is like annoying. Like Falcon can just jump over it. All right. I like the I like the idea. So, um, so that was um, I'm trying to think what I want to ask you. Who did you fight in uh, Winter Semis? I forgot. Winter Semis was Luck. Luck, right, right, right. Um, and he went Luigi. Ah, yeah, he went Cloud for that. So. Yeah, I went Cloud. I won game one. It was like a two stock. Then game two, he got like a gimp on me with the F smash at like forty. <laughs> yeah. And <laughs> then game things. yeah, in game three, I used Donkey Kong. Mm -hmm. I had one stock and at like zero. Right. Because you know, I'm sure you're aware of like what happened with the whole uh, Mewtwo King versus Azreal. The game maybe took thirty seconds and. Oh yeah, I mean. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> that basically happened to me in doubles like three times. Oh, that's so much. Yeah. I don't know. You live by the cloud, you die by the cloud. That's a yeah, that's why he can never be the best character. I don't know how Thank you. Someone else says it. I don't think right. I don't even think he's top three. Like he's oh, so oh, oh. he's so fragile. Oh. Like you hit him, he can die. There's like characters like Bayo will always be better than him. I think Bayo's better. She can't get gimped. She really can't get him though. She can't get no. Just as a, as a as a Bayo main who's stuck with her post patch, I'm very happy to hear that. So. Yeah, like she's a godlike character that can't get gimped. Like that's amazing. Like Cloud's godlike, but he gets gimped. Like truth. Even Charizard. Like I, I was gonna use Cloud, but last time I fought Blue's uh, Charizard, he beat my. But Cloud. he just like flamethrowers. He flamethrowers yeah. and he down smashes. Down smash <laughs> hits you no matter what. Right, because it goes very far horizontally. Yeah, it hits down below the ledge actually. Oh wow! And you can't sweet spot with Cloud, so you just die. True. All right, I like I like I like hearing that actually. Um, actually, okay, so because I never get a chance to um, ask this because um, you know, you brought that up. So you think Cloud is not top three then? No. And you think Bayo is potentially top three? So who do you think is the she best? She might be the best character. Who do you think's the best? I don't even know. This game, like, there's like three characters that are like really close. You have like ZSS, Rosa, and who the hell is my thinking of? Really. This is just very interesting to me because I actually I don't hear ZSS mentioned. And, like, and Diddy. I think they're all pretty close. Maybe ZSS not anymore. I don't think Sheik is top three anymore. She might be, but I don't think she is. So it's probably maybe Diddy, like Rosa. It's very interesting. Maybe Sonic. That's because I've been I've been saying that Diddy that uh, Rosa and um, and Cloud and Sheik are all not top three. And oh yeah, and there's Rio. Yeah, Rio as well. Rio yeah. might be top three. Yeah, I think so as well. No, that's cool. It's cool to hear that sound stuff. Where do you, where do you personally rate DK? Like I know he's your best. But DK. Where would you, where would I you always rate? thought it was a high tier, but I think he struggles with certain matchups. Yeah, definitely. But in the, two, in the tier list, they have him mid tier, and I'm looking at all the characters that are above him. I'm like, it's right. He's mid tier. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't realize like I'm. I thought he was like top 15. I'm looking at all the characters above him. Like, he's 25th. Like, there are 24 characters that are better than him. Right. And I agree with all of that. I'm just like looking at like. Okay, I could see Greninja being better now. Maybe. Yeah, true. Yeah, I think I used Greninja the first time I fought you on my very first tournament. That didn't end well for me. But. <laughs> I don't think I ever fought your Bayo. You did once pre-patch, but I was a lot worse than I am now. So. Okay. Yeah. But no, I do. I do want to face you again, just because you know you're very good about like you know being the senpai of the group and uh, you know telling people what they do wrong. Obviously, after the match when it matters, but. You know. It's always good to always good to have you on, man. Um, you want to plug uh, your Twitter and everything, because uh, I know you want to. You mentioned on Twitter a while ago that you wanted to start traveling more, like it, you know, next year, get all the majors and everything. So. No, I'm fine. There's only five viewers. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, uh, anyway, you can follow this man at uh, I believe Vex the Kazrani on Twitter. Yep, you, you got know, it. He's a uh, Philly's uh, Philly and PA's uh, number two player behind Six WX. Uh, and I'm sure, I'm sure deep down you want you, you know you can get the number one if you really tried. He plays Sonic. Sonic. Sonic is a problem. 6 x is super good, but, like, Sonic, like, fuck the kid. <laughs> that character, like... You heard it here. He counters my main, like, yep. what uh, do you want in, me to in, do? In, uh, fuck Sonic. Vex Kazrani 2016. Dude, Sonic's stupid. <laughs> yep. All right. Sonic anyway. mains want to say he's not even top tier. Like, kill yourself. Ew. <laughs> yeah, that's disgusting. But, uh, anyway, great to have you on stream, man. Congratulations on your win. Yeah. Uh, of course. Thank you. You can follow this man on Twitter. You can always see him uh, at our Bros Calamity streams. He's, he usually makes it pretty far, so... Always good to see you, man. All right. And uh, I will send off our stream. Cool. Hope you've been good, everybody.